this is how you scroll through the games, and this is the Sega Saturn. And then these are the games I have on it. So let's go down and let's play some Outrun. You're looking at the load time. <laughs> it's uh, it seems to be pretty fast so far. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, it actually could load faster, but it's actually emulating the old load time. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So it's like <laughs> pretending the, the disc is spinning up and the whole thing is trying to read the, the information or anything? Well, I mean, the thing is, it's not actually emulating that, but the game had it planned in to have to like have animations for load times and things. Oh my god, so, really? Yeah. Just just in case it needed to load other things? Well, or? it would have to load the disc. Yeah, it would have to load so, the disc and everything, so all those animations would then be programmed into it. Wow, exactly. crazy. So you, see, right. you gotta press start button, and then let's just go. For all you outrun friends. Let's go. Out Passing breeze sounds yeah. good. And look at those graphics. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, I had a Sega Saturn. I used to play it a lot and I really, I think I was, I think I was like 13 or something like that when I had it. 14, 15 something. Jesus, I'm old. And I seem to remember the graphics being a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing I love about the system too is they have these little um, um, borders like this. Uh -huh. So you get this, it fills up the whole HD screen. Oh uh, yeah, so it's not just so black. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I think, yeah, the only, well, the only widescreen games would be, like, some of the portables, like the Game Boy Advance. Uh, PSP, there we go. And then there's, as you can see how this uh, evolved, it's outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. Wow. That even, that looks really good just on the preview, huh? <laughs> right. Ah, so and that's full is, screen. And this can even upscale two times for some of the games. Okay. So... I mean, ideally, I think you'd get... Well, this is a 4K screen, so you'd want to have, like, 10 times. <laughs> but the box isn't that powerful. And, I mean, honestly, it's fine. But also, remember, this used to be played on, like... I think it was a 6-inch screen? Mm. Yeah, that's true. So, so I'm just going to go into uh, Just Drive here. So you can see just the quick how it runs. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. It just fills up the screen like this. An old game, like in 2006. You know? Yeah, for sure. And it still looks pretty dang good, you know. Yeah. I mean, for for what it is, and like you said, it was supposed to it was supposed to work on a six inch screen, <laughs> <clears throat> and it's upscaled to this 4K monitor. Yeah, so it's upscaled two times. So two it's times. Like, um, I guess that'd be 720p more or less. Crazy, and it's still running it super smooth. Look at that. We're going at 47 frames per second. You can see on the top right. Oh, we're going at 265 kilometers per hour here, man. Well, true, but <laughs> <laughs> forget about frames per second. <laughs> I guess 30 FPS. I think yeah. it locked it at, more or less locked it at 30 FPS. Because the, yeah, the, the Ooh, easy. look at that drift. <laughs> look at this man. Wow. <laughs> easy? Nah, let's go <laughs> But yeah, I love this game so much. It's so fun. Wow, look at that. That yeah, looks like a lot of fun, actually. It's one of the first games that they really pushed drifting, but they made it super arcadey. As they should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I find it difficult to play those games that are really, really super realistic racing oh, games. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm yeah. like, if I really wanted to drive a car, <laughs> I, I would just drive a car. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny in this game. If you're drifting, you you can't wreck. Like, you can run into other cars, you'll just sort of bounce off them. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> so if you're about to wreck, you can actually just start drifting <laughs> to save yourself. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you're so close. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah. And so, are there like guns or any kind of? Can you put um, oil or anything down to to slow your guy down, to slow your no, rival no, down? Just, just a arcade race. Nice. No nitro either, but you know it's fine. Yeah, no. It is what it is. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's really funny. Let's go the easy route this time. Knock over a phone. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to the Coniferous Forest. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a hike. A little hike through Coniferous Forest. <laughs> now it's turning into like a live streaming video. <laughs> video game video. <laughs> so it's actually funny. Um, my old box had a Coniferous Forest game. I used to have another Android box. It's unfortunately... 
um, yeah, died, but whatever. It died? I, yeah, it died. What, <laughs> did somebody come over here and shoot it or something? <laughs> I tried to start it one day and it just wouldn't boot up anymore. Oh, I no. don't know what's up. I mean, these are cheap Chinese boxes, but well, this one's higher quality, much higher quality than the other one I used to have. I mean, the other one was running everything on like this 50, I think it was paid like 55 euros for it, which is crazy. Nice. And it ran everything up to PlayStation 1. Uh -huh. But I really wanted to play this game and it was a little underpowered for this game. Yeah, so I got this so I could um, play Saturn, PSP, and uh, Nintendo 64 really well. Awesome. Yeah, because Nintendo 64 in the old system was also just like... Uh, you're you're hacking, you're going between three different emulators to try to get one that works somewhat well and it was always a bit meh. It was always yeah. So now I can play any N sixty four game, any Saturn. Oh yeah, Saturn on the old box would like overheat. So like I actually could put a fan under it and it would start running well. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, this is not ideal. <laughs>